If you're even thinking about NAN, don't dive in blind. Six months in, I've broken it, fixed it, and finally figured out what works. This isn't Zapier, it's automation with a learning curve. I mean, I mean, it's on a whole other level, really. But if it pays off big, you play it smart. Let's skip the pain and go straight to the stuff that actually matters, so you can build workflows that deliver, not disappoint. The other guys looked at me like I just discovered fire. So before we dive in, drop your biggest automation need or workflow challenge in the comments below. Most liked one we'll tackle in a future video. End to end, building the whole beast. Your first day in NAN is like stepping onto the trading floor. It's noisy, it's confusing, and easy to get lost. Start here and you'll save yourself hours of backtracking later. Organize the right way. NAN now supports unlimited nested folders. Make a habit of creating folders for every client, project, or department. The more you separate work up front, the less hunting you'll do later. This also helps you quickly spot what's active and what's still in progress. Also clear names, always. Don't let your workspace fill up with test five or code five or copy of old email. Give each workflow a name that describes exactly what it does and name each node appropriately. Send leads to Slack. Not only does this save you confusion, it makes it easy to spot mistakes or find automations later. It also test in pieces. NAN lets you execute nodes individually, so you can test one step at a time or pin and then test. If you're working with data, this saves you from running a 30 step workflow. Guilty, guilty as charged. Also avoid these beginner traps. Everyone trips up at the beginning, that's okay. Here's some of the easiest mistakes to dodge so you can keep your workflow smooth and frustration low. First off, handle errors early. Set up a global error trigger workflow. If anything breaks, NA can automatically send you an alert on Slack or Telegram, whatever the hell you're using, or an email. You'll know right away something's wrong and it needs fixing. Instead of finding out a week later from an angry client or you're missing data, like when your workflow finished and it didn't finish right. Next, you gotta understand your data. Each node in NAN deals with arrays of items. Before building, check the output of your nodes. Sometimes you need a merge node to join two data streams together or a set node to rename or format fields. Don't jump straight to code unless you have to. Let NAN do the heavy lifting. Oh, and by the way, if you're gonna use ChatGPT to help you out, just be cautious. ChatGPT is gonna recommend you use a code node way more often than you probably need to. There's probably a node been created since ChatGPT's last update that you're missing and not aware of. Look in the NAN community forums and see if there's somebody that's created something with that node before you just jump in and use a code node because ChatGPT or Claude suggested you do that, okay? It'll save you a ton of headache in the long run. Next, you wanna batch big jobs. And this means processing large data sets that can grind your workflow to a halt if you're not careful. Use split and batches to chunk up big jobs like handling 10,000 spreadsheet rows in a group of 100. It keeps things running fast and avoids memory errors too, especially if you're running self-hosted where you could have server limitations. Next, you wanna save as you go. There's no autosave in NAN. After every major change, especially if you're trying something new, hit the damn save button. This one habit could save you hours of lost work and a lot of swearing to your computer. I'm, so, I'm serious. This is such a pain in the ass. So AI in NAN isn't just for show. Here's how it actually delivers value to your automations. Now AI agents, AI agent nodes can handle multi-step tasks, like a smart chatbot that answers questions by looking up info from docs or by scraping the web. This means that you can build workflows that automate real problem solving, not just if this is then that logic, okay? And with direct support for vector databases like Pinecone, Quadrant, and Superbase, you can actually build advanced search in your automations. For example, let your AI agent instantly look up relevant support articles for FAQs or company knowledge base on a user's question. No manual tagging needed. And then there's the MCP standard. This will give you the opportunity to expose any workflow as a tool or external AI model. Or this will let NAN itself call out each external agent for extra muscle. This opens up two-way integrations where ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini, whoever, can tap into your data. Or you can have your automation use any AI tool you want. And let's not forget the AI transform node. This AI transform node, you can actually add steps like text summarization or translation or even sentiment analysis right inside your workflow. No more juggling APIs or writing custom code. Just add this node, configure your model, and you're off. It's easy as that. So cloud and self-hosted NAN have completely different vibes. Here's how to pick what fits your workflow best. First off, cloud, if you wanna get started fast, and by cloud, I mean one where you're paying NAN directly. 
If you want to get started fast, avoid server management, and benefit from regular updates, go cloud. It's much more hands-off and will let you get to work faster. Plus, it's not that expensive to begin with. 25 for a cheap starter package or 60 for a pro package. Plus, you can collaborate with teammates easily. But if you have a lot of heavy workflows, costs can stack up quickly. That's why you would do self-hosted. With self-hosted, you can get unlimited workflow executions for the cost of a small server. You control the updates though, integrations and data privacy, but you're responsible for keeping the instances running, setting up off manually and fixing anything that breaks. This is great for power users, but not for the set of forget crowd. Look, if, if you're new to NA8, start on cloud if you're new, then you can always migrate to self-hosted if you wanna save on big workloads or need full control. You can export workflows back and forth so you're never stuck. If you want a video on how to actually install NA8 self-hosting on the cloud for free, check out this video over here. Now, most beginners never find these features until it's too late. So here's your head start, okay? First off, you have re reusable sub workflows. Use the execute workflow node to call another workflow like a function. It's perfect for sending the same notification, cleaning up data, or handling approval steps across multiple projects. Update logic in one place and it works everywhere. It's using a built-in NAN node. The HTTP request node is packed with hidden power. It can do pagination, batch requests, set timeouts, and even import curl commands. Before you write a bunch of custom code, check these settings. They'll often do exactly what you need with zero scripting. Templates. Now this is a big time saver. Browse the NAN's built-in template library for workloads that cover 80% of the common business use cases. Chances are, if you're trying to do something, it's likely already been done or created. Some of them cost money, but most of them are free. To use, just import one, swap your app connections, and you're rolling in a minute. Don't waste time reinventing with someone who's already solved the problem that you're trying to solve. So you can pin the output of any node in NAN, as long as it's been executed. Saving a snapshot of this data then lets you run downstream nodes over and over without limit repeating API calls or slow upstream tasks. This is huge for debugging and rapid iteration. I can't tell you the countless dollars we spent early on because I didn't know this actually existed and I'm an idiot and don't read documentation. We were using Pi API, which mind you, when you're generating video at HD quality is not very cheap. It's about 25 cents a pop. So I'd be generating like a whole workflow of like, I don't know, 10 video creations just to find out some shit fucked up and I'd have to start the whole thing over again. So there's like two bucks every time I'm trying to test the workflow. I'm an idiot, I know. Don't do what I did though. What a fucking idiot. All right, so don't worry about the chop. You don't know shit about chop. Trust me, chop, chop is fine. Is chop fine, Captain Ted? Mm, yeah, I mean, if, if we take it slow. Yeah, we're going to take it slow. We're going to take it. It's a little uncomfortable. But tell them it's safe. It's, it's going to be, be safe because we'll, we'll batten down the hatches and, uh, and secure the deck. And uh, we're looking at a few, maybe a few broken dishes. A few broken dishes? What's a few broken dishes? Does that sound fucking awesome or what? If you're switching from Zapier or Make or some other automation software to NAN, here's how to make the transition without getting overwhelmed. Because it can be a little overwhelming, I'm not going to lie. Instead of building these separate zaps for three separate different automations, NAN lets you build one workflow that branches, loops, and merges just about everything you need. All the data can merge or looped, however. Think bigger and combine your logic for easier maintenance. Definitely loop things in Zapier and in Make. This is a little different in NAN, so get accustomed to how these work before you go on. It'll help you a lot when you're trying to do mass amounts of data. Also, low code is your friend. You don't need to be a coder, but picking up a little JavaScript opens up a world of new possibilities. And honestly, I use ChatGPT a lot. Just don't become reliant on ChatGPT and helping you with your NAN because it can go ahead and suggest to do a bunch of code nodes to do a simple task where, and remember, most times it may not actually even give you the right tool that you need. It might suggest using a code node with a pretty complicated script that you will never understand unless you know coding, but it might do the job sometimes. However, there's probably been a node since then created. So look in the actual documentation for NAN or on the on the actual template library. Somebody may have actually created uh, an official or unofficial node that does what you want before you go exploring chat or Claude or Gemini. Remember, they're dated. It's not going to have all the data for NAN documentation in it or even the most up-to-date version of it. So that's something you got to keep in mind. Otherwise, you'll be spending hours and hours like I've done, possibly hundreds of hours working with chat just to fix any end problem. Remember, even simple tweaks like reformatting a date or extracting from a string can make your automation 20 times more powerful. If you self-host, you can process as many tasks as you want for a flat server fee. That means you can finally automate those high frequency tasks without worrying about the cost of it. As long as your database or your server can handle it, you're good to go. Then you wanna import and optimize. Don't just clone your zaps one-to-one. -one. Take the chance to optimize, combine steps, use if and merge nodes, and leverage templates and sub workflows for cleaner logic that's gonna make your lane chain work better. That's it, that's all the tips we got for today. 
Hopefully after six months of me crying myself to sleep most nights, hopefully you took something and learned a little bit from what my pain and sorrow and suffering. So take what you've learned here today and run with it. Okay, go! Okay. Remember, get organized from day one. Use error handling, batching, and all those built-in AI and HTTP features that I mentioned. Don't reinvent the wheel. Templates and sub workflows exist for a reason. They are your friend. Also automate without worrying about costs, especially on self-hosted. And when you get stuck, check the docs, hit the forums, look on Reddit, and check out somebody's YouTube channel like ours. Subscribe, subscribe to the YouTube. Anyway, subscribe for no fluff, real world automation content. Check the description for links, templates and resources, as well as a blog article that's gonna have all the stuff we just talked about today in there. Remember, NAN is only overwhelming if you let it be. Build smart and you win back hours of every week, hours of your life. I would love to have my hours back. Oh, please.